no matter what. The mascara is everything. You know, I keep saying I'm going to move this mirror. <laughs> All right, it's Wellness Wednesday. Stop, stop when I'm trying to talk. When I want to record, they're always talking. All right, so we're going to try this again. It's Wellness Wednesday. What up? Um, Three things I want to show, share with you today um, about how my face is getting to be flawless on its own, right? Because that's important to me. It should be important to you. You should not want to have to depend on makeup to make you look and feel beautiful. I'm cleaning up my desk so I can scoot you in closer to me because, you know, we should talk. I'm going to tell you some secrets. Did you hear that squeaking? Okay, so you guys all know that I'm dealing with some stuff with Hashimoto's, all this fabulous, fabulous, fabulous stuff. stuff. That's not fabulous, right? So one of the things that I started to incorporate finally, because I hadn't started to um, tackle my thyroid issue at all because I had to clean my gut and thank God that um, I'm at a point where I can start to, excuse me, start to um, work on my thyroid. So one of the things that um, I have gotten from, um, this is not from actually my natural path. This is uh, something that I picked up at a health food store and they have a natural path in there. And I kind of talked with her briefly about some of the stuff that I am. What am I trying to do with my hair today? That I just, you know, whatever, um, that I wanted to do. And this actually helps with, mm -mm, I don't like that. I should have just left it alone. Ow. Um, Yes, there we go. Um, one of the things that this helps with is weight loss, if you're interested in that, because us women who have thyroid issues either can't gain weight or are having many, many problems trying to lose the weight. I don't know what that life is like anymore with the I can't gain no weight. Catch me in my 20s. Cash me in my 20s. Um, then I knew, but boo, we ain't there no more. Um, what I do know is that no matter how long I hit the gym, no matter how many weights I'm lifting and squats ain't helping, none of that. But I'm okay with all I got. With everything I got, I'm, I'm finally okay with it. So whatever happens, this is not why I'm taking this, I, you know, but this is one of the things that it helps with. Um, I'm taking it for, because you need iodine. And there is a version of iodine um, that your your body needs it, but I am allergic to it. So there's a separate, there is a derivative of iodine that I'm allergic to. Um, so anything that has to do with shellfish, no ma'am, I have EpiPen with me at all times. Um, iodine swabs, you know, that like the brownish, I can't, no, no ma'am, not unless you want to catch me in the hospital because no. I'll be having the Darth Vader um, nebulizer type situation happening. Anaphylactic shock is not what I want to be living in. And I lived a whole year of my life trying to fight the fact that I was allergic to shellfish. I mean, I can tell you about it. So what happened was I was 27, 26 or 27. And um, my, my mother's side of the family, we... <laughs> From the islands, you know, Caribbean life and you're shellfishing. Well, you're not shellfishing. You're you're eating a lot of shellfish or just fish in general. Sea life, not shellfish. Sea life. And so all my life since then, I knew, you know, I could have all the fruit of the of the ocean. 
right? Um, but one day, I don't know, I got a can of, got a can of Campbell's, these boys, got a can of Campbell's, uh, clam chowder, and cracked it open, had some, I was watching something, I don't know, Maury or something, I don't know, something trash on TV, um, and is Maury even on still? I don't know. Hold on, let me get these boys. So anyway, I was uh, watching TV and uh, my son was in daycare. I had some time in between class. And then, um, come breathe, come breathe, come breathe. And God is so with me. Thank you, Lord, that I live literally five minutes from uh, the hot, not even five minutes from the hospital. I got in the car. By the time I made it to the hospital, I don't even know it was the Lord that I made it to the hospital. I just remember waking up and they had me in a mask. And it was like, what, you know, like, you know, did you touch something? Did you eat something? I'm like, dude, I think, you know, whatever I was watching, <laughs> I really did like food. No, what are you talking about? Um, so then they, you know, they did the rundown and they were like, well, we think that you might be, um, allergic to shellfish. And I was like, you tried it. No, I'm not. I've been eating all my life. And they're like, well, you can build up an immunity to such things as blah, 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 blah. In one ear, out the other. So I spent almost two years in and out of the hospital because I refused to, because it got worse and worse and worse to the point where the last time I was actually hospitalized for several days. I was like, okay, I, I, can't, I can't mess with shellfish. I mean, I had clams, I had oysters, I had mussels, um, shrimp, uh, anything in it. I, I hate lobster, mm -mm. crab, all of that. I had, I was, I was testing it. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that that was something that you're going to try to limit me in. So anyway, one of the main minerals in shellfish is iodine. Um, they are filter, um, animals and that's kind of a dirty thing, you know, it's kind of, you know, we're going to be Jewish for a moment, you know, I'm just saying. So, um, I'm, I'm kosher. I'm completely kosher. Me and, and no, if it's a bottom feeder, I'm not about it. So, um, that particular, uh, iodine I'm allergic to, but your body actually does need iodine in order to function. And since I haven't had any of that since, and by the way, I was diagnosed with hyperthyroid when I was 25. And then I had this episode in this diagnosis in 20, when I was 27. So I have been deficient and I am 37. Child, I don't know. I ain't folding. So that this is one of the things that I'm incorporating now that I am winding down my protocol, which is literally like 12 pills or more a day um, on the other stuff. Hey, sir. Hello. Um, the next thing that I have incorporated and another thing that I'm allergic to man-made wise is sulfur. And so, um, anything that has any sulfur meds, sulfites, anything like that, I'm allergic to. I want you guys to check that out in your life. Like things that you are allergic to, is it man-made or is it a natural forming product? Because as soon as I started taking this MSN, I'm telling I happened to be on Shark Week last week and I started taking this last week and I normally get like breakouts. My, I did not break out. I don't, what? At all. Not one, not one. Check out what you're allergic to and see if it's man-made or if there is a derivative like with the shellfish because shellfish isn't man-made. Um, look into it. Your body needs minerals, and my body has been extremely deficient, especially in iodine and sulfur. These are things that help your thyroid function, like give it the, the minerals that it needs to help your entire body do the things that it needs to do. And then I am taking vitamin E. So you can use vitamin E on your skin. 
Um, you can ingest it. This is one of the ways I am ingesting it. I am not very steady with this. However, um, I, I like this particular brand because the gel caps I know for sure are um, good to use. What am I trying to say here? The product within the gel cap is what I'm trying to say. I know this particular brand is something that I can depend on. I, everything about the site that I get this from, um, Radiant. Where's my cell phone? Radiant Life, I believe. Radiant Life, boo, is that right? Radiant something. I don't know. Um, I'll put it in the um, description box below for sure. Um, I think it's Radiant Life. Uh, and this is where I get this from. I get this. I get emu oil. Um, some of my other powders. Um, like maca powder and some other stuff. I forget right now. It's, it's gone. I don't know. Um, but these are the things that I have incorporated in my particular life and have started to really um, work for me. And I would love to hear um, things that you guys are incorporating in your life that are starting to really work for you, things that you've started to see. Um, don't, if you find that you're allergic to something, and this is what scared me for such a long time to stay away from iodine and sulfur, because any sulfites like, you know, when you dry fruit, there's plenty of sulfites in that. So I have to get things that say sulf, um, sulfate free and sulfite free, whatever it says. It'll say sulfites, no sulfites added, something like that, um, and dried fruit. Uh, and any, like, or shampoos, any of that. So, and sulfites, like there's sulfur eight. So sulfur is something that you need, but there is a, there is a way to get exactly what you need without ending up in the hospital. That's my point. And I would love for you guys to find the things that you need so that you can be healthy, you can feel vibrant, and live a whole life like God intended us to live. Um, because everything is on this planet for us to use. So oils and everything. And that's another thing that I could talk to you guys about on another Wednesday, um, how I've been using oils differently. Because I have been using them differently. And that has also helped. So, again, MSN, this is this is another MSM, excuse me, um, is the another way to say the sulfur that I'm using. So this is crystals, and they look alike. Uh, they look alike. I'm going to put them inside. Will you be able to see it? Yeah. How about I open it? It smells like vanilla. They look like gigantic salt crystals. Let me try to get my face out of the way so we can focus. There we go, sort of. They look like gigantic salt crystals. There we go. And they don't dissolve in cold water, so don't try. Don't. Mm -mm. And they're bitter. I guess there's some brands that aren't as bitter. I, this is my first encounter with MSM. Um, and the reason I have the crystals versus the powder is that the crystals are more natural in the more natural form than the powder. Sometimes they have to add additives to keep the powder from caking together, all that stuff. Like, I can't risk it. Like, I, just, I, I can't. I can't risk it. I'm not trying to risk it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just get the purest form of whatever it is that you need and take it like it is. Take it like a champ, okay? Because that's what I do. I put it in a little shot glass. A tea. I started with a half a teaspoon, and then I just went to a teaspoon. And I take it twice a day, and uh, in the morning because sulfur eliminates. You can you eliminate it from your body if you have like you can't overdose on it, which is a good thing because I was a little bit concerned about that. So you urinate it out. Whatever your body's not using, you pee it out. Um, so, and it stays in your body from six to 12, from six to 12 hours. So I take, that's the first thing that I take in the morning now. And no, actually the thyroid, um, 
what's it called? Thyroid care is the first thing that I take in the morning. I take two pills in the morning and then I'm done with this pill. But we're done. We're done with that. And then like an hour or so later, I do a half a teaspoon. Or uh, if I'm feeling frisky, I'll do one teaspoon um, in the morning of the MSM crystals. And then that's probably before 10 o'clock in the morning. And then by like nine o'clock at night, I'm doing another half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of the MSN crystals and I'm done for the day. Now, my skin is not flawless, obviously, but that is the first thing that has changed and it changed last week. That is the first immediate thing that changed in my life. I'm not, I, I, will I'm totally interested to see what happens next week around and uh, next week next month around shark week but for me to not have one breakout at all I'm completely sold on this product I don't feel um there's no itchy throat like I'm not a I'm not having any kind of allergic reaction I would have had one I would have had one the first day um to either of these products because I had this before I had the MSM products I was waiting from it from Amazon um and that's it. I, I'm. Those are the things that I've incorporated in my life. So I hope that this was helpful to you in some way. Um, I look forward to chatting with you guys uh, in the comment section to find out what you're doing and all of that. Thank you to my new subscribers. Hi, booze. Hi, originals. Um, and to all my subscribers who've been rocking with me. Thank you, guys. I just I'm really um, enjoying being able to share with you guys and for you to share with me. I, I don't know how you're finding me, but I totally am appreciative and honored that you are here. Um, listening to me and hopefully you're getting something from my videos uh, other than that whoa um, I will see you all on Friday okay thank you baby. Oh, good you I'll see you guys on Friday I uh, have a blessed rest of the week and uh, ciao rocky locks love your life we're out say bye bye uh. No, hello is not bye. Say bye-bye.